cricket from England to Indus. Bat and ball. Yes, this globally popular sport. Where and when did it all begin? And on our land, Indus, who were the earliest cricket players? Let us briefly go back in the time and peep into the past, starting from the origin of the game cricket. I quote the highlights from a research-based article published on the Britannica.com written by Marcus K. Williams, Rex Alston and Andrew Longmore. Cricket is believed to have begun in the 13th century as a game in which boys bowled at a tree stump or at the hurdle gate into a sheep pen about 700 years ago. There is a trace of cricket in the 1550 in Guildford, Surrey, England. Continuing the highlights from the article, the earliest reference to an 11 aside match dates from the year 1697, played in Sussex for a stake of 50 Guinness. In 1709, Kent meets Surrey in the first recorded inter-county match played at Dartford. In the year 1744, the popularity of cricket grows from the countryside and eventually spreads to London. Remarkably, to the artillery ground, Finsbury, which sees a famous match between Kent and all England. According to the Australian cricket history, the first ever cricket game is played in Australia, Sydney in the December of the 1803. The year is 1814. The Lord's Ground in England is named after its founder, Thomas Lord, in St. John's Wood. It becomes the headquarters of the world cricket. Awesome. In Australia, in the year 1826, cricket clubs are actively operating, such as Currency Cricket Club, Military Cricket Club and Australian Cricket Club. It is year 1836 in England. The first match of North Counties versus South Counties is played. In Australia, 1838 and in the year 1839, the Melbourne Cricket Club is founded. The first cricket match is played in Melbourne between the military soldiers and the civilians. Peter O'Bon writes in his ever popular book, Wounded Tiger. A history of cricket in Pakistan. On page 56, it has already been seen how the British were quick to play the game in Karachi after the conquests of the early 1840s. In Bombay, the Parsis were the first non British to join in. At one point, a single Parsi family, the Dean Shaws, were said to be to turn out a full team. In the year 1846, the All England Eleven is founded by William Clark of Nottingham and this begins touring the country. From 1852, when some of the leading professionals, including John Whiston, who later compiled the first of the famous Whiston Almanacs on cricketing, succeeded to form the United All England Eleven. These two teams monopolized the best cricket talent until the rise of the county cricket. They supplied the players for the first English touring team overseas in the year 1859. Now, according to the research by Boria in the published article titled Cricket in Colonial India, the Bombay Pantangular, 1892 to 1946. In the year 1848 in Bombay, the first cricket club established by the Parsi community titled the Oriental Cricket Club. Later in the year 1850, yet another Parsi community club, the Zoroastrian Cricket Club, is established. The year is 1860. Another Parsi community club is established. 
titled The Moss Club. In the year 1862, the Grand Cricket Match is played. England defeats Australia by 49 runs. Back in Bombay, the year is 1866. Following the Parsis, the Hindus started playing cricket, partly in a spirit of competitive communalism. In the year 1867, Bombay gets another cricket club by the Parsi community titled the Young Zoroastrian Cricket Club. In 1868, the first Australian international cricket team is selected to tour the England. In Bombay in the year 1872, the Elphinstone Cricket Club is founded and that initiates the practice of tours all around the country. In Australia, in the year 1877, England versus Australia, the first ever test match that Australia and England play against each other. The two test series was drawn one to one. In the years 1880 to 1892, in the colonial Sindh under the Bombay Presidency in Karachi, as well as in Bombay, the Muslims established their own cricket clubs. These later amalgamate to form the Islam Jimkhana in 1892. The highly literate M. B. Lukmani and B. A. Lukmani, together with the Tayyibjis, pioneer the Muslim cricket community. In 1898, the Bora Jimkhana is built. In the 1890s, the West Indies formally begin with the cricket. Bringing all that to our knowledge bank, we now get to learn about Abdullah Muhammad Jaffa, one of the earliest cricket players of the Sindh state, the Indus Valley, the present day Pakistan. In the year 1900, on 11th of October, in the glorious city of the Sindh state, Karachi, to the highly literate family of Muhammad Jaffa, a star is born who is named Abdullah. Having studied at the Sindh Madrasatul Islam, Karachi, this young boy makes his mark in the history of cricket in his hometown firstly for his school and later represents his home state all over the colonial India with remarkable scores. I now present to you what is documented in the year 1941, the verbatim from the pen of the then president of Islam Sport Club Karachi, Mr. Said Hussein Haji Suleiman. The feature that was published in the Burma Shell News Sheet Quarterly Staff Supplement in the month of August 1941. He writes, Abdullah MJ, now nearly 41 years of age, is a well-known cricketer of Sindh. When he was 17, he played for Sindh Madrasa School in the inter-school tournament and a year later, he captained the school 11. He did very well with the bat and ball with the result that in the year 1921, he was selected to play for the Muslims in the Sin Pantangular Cricket Tournament. He was the top scorer in that match and since then, he has been the backbone of the Muslim team. He was the first Muslim player to complete 1,000 runs in the above tournament and in the general list of batting averages, he now stands second with 49.10 runs per innings. He has many centuries to his credit in first-class cricket. To mention a few, he has scored three centuries in the Sindh Pantangular Cricket Tournament, two at Delhi and one at Secunderabad. His 221 runs in the All India Roshanara Cricket Tournament at Delhi 
and 244 not out in the All India Moin Oud Dola Gold Cup at Secunderabad were his best performances. He played against both visiting MCC teams captained by Masses A.E.R. Gilligan and D.R. Jardine in 1926 and 1933 respectively. He has also played against His Highness the Maharaja of Patiala's team of Australian cricketers in 1935. A slow left-hand bowler, he has taken many wickets in sin tournaments and in representative matches. He had the honour of representing Sindh in the official cricket match arranged by the Board of Cricket Control in India between the rest of India 11 versus Vizian Graham at Delhi. The team, which included Masses J.B. Hobbs and H. Sutcliffe. He also played in the test trials in Patiala in 1932. The end of the feature by Mr. Sait Hussain Haji Suleiman. With more facts and figures, we shall be back. Thank you.